Okay, so we've been standing here for a couple of minutes getting ready to shoot this little video and I'm really stoked actually to talk about my topic today. But uh, as I said, we've been standing here for a couple of minutes getting ready to shoot this because I'm collecting a crowd. It's awesome. It's not the kind of crowd you expect though. Over here, we've got a flock of uh, Canadian geese. They actually swam right up to the shore here to check things out. Um, they probably decided, oh, he doesn't have any news for me, so they're, they're moving on. I got uh, baby mallards over here and a mom and dad mallard. We got some uh, crows, some blackbirds. I mean, we got a regular audience here. I just, and even we have an orange amphitheater. So uh, this is absolutely awesome. <laughs> anyway, that's all off topic. I wanted to really talk to you today. I was really excited, as I said just a moment ago, about talking to you about congruency and acting in a fashion that's congruent to your identity and those may or may not be words that you're really familiar with so congruent to be congruent is to act in accordance with so to to mesh with to be the same as to 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 be consistent with so the congruent identity that's when we're talking about ourselves that's who do you see yourself as being or maybe it's not even so deep as to say who do you see yourself as being maybe more to the point is just who are you being maybe by fault maybe by design and so for the last quite some time I've been doing a lot of personal development work and I'm really proud of that and I'm really proud of where that's taken me some of what I've been working on is my identity and what I find so exciting is that as I've moved forward as I've redefined defined and redefined myself because there is no there we're never a finished product and I've talked about that before but as I've gotten clearer and clearer on who it is I am I find that when I'm congruent with that new identity everything's easy life is easy because I'm doing what it is that feels right for me I'm being myself I'm being in the moment Tony Armstrong and as I was kind of playing with that and I thought oh that's so exciting you know I've, I've got to do a video and tell everybody you know if you just act congruent with your identity it's easy but then I realized big awakening for me here it's like oh my goodness yes things get easy for you when you're being congruent acting congruently with your identity but what if your identity isn't who you want to be so for me in that defining and redefining my identity I like who I am now and even better I like who I'm becoming I like where I'm going on this journey of life and I like the person that I'm being while I'm on the journey and I like the destination that I see knowing that it's always going to change but that's a conscious decision that I've made it's habits it's things that I'm doing consistently to have me be who I want to be and when I act outside of that I'm not comfortable but what if you're not the person that you want to be what if you just by happenstance you're living a life that just feels like it happened to you you didn't plan the life you didn't go out and get the life you didn't decide you know what I'm gonna be uh, flabby I'm gonna be 30 pounds overweight I'm gonna be unhappy I'm gonna be uh, in relationships with friends that I don't really like you know like all of those things any of those things and a whole lot more can just happen to us and they become part of who we are just by the simple nature of a habit so as I started off I was gonna say you know what if you just act congruent with who you are if you're congruent with your identity life is easy it's true it's true but maybe if you're not being the person you want to be if you're not living the life that you want to live maybe you need to take a look at and I suggest you do you need to take a look at who are you who would you like to be get clear on who you would like to be pick some role models they don't even have to be real role models but pick some role models of the kind of individual that you would like to be and then act as though you were that person or that group of people be congruent with that and surprisingly and beautifully you will become more and more the person you want to be 
you, you will find that when you act in accordance congruently with the person that you want to be rather than the person that you used to be, life gets easy and you get happy. So really take some time. Think about, are you the person that you want to be? It's absolutely fine to say no. You know, I like who I am, but I'm more excited to be who I'm becoming. And it's fine to say, I'm where I am right now. Accept that. We built that. It's who we are. But let's get clear on where we want to go, the kind of individual we want to be. Pick those role models. Act as though you were them. Be congruent with those activities and you will find that your identity will shift. And one day you'll wake up and you'll be saying, God, when I act congruent with who I am, life is easy. When I don't, that's when I get uncomfortable. Right now, if you're not the person that you want to be and you're acting congruent, you hold yourself back. So for you, it might be important to get a little bit uncomfortable. It might be important to decide and clarify who you want to be. Pick some role models around that and then start acting as though. And if it feels a little uncomfortable right now, and it likely will, that's okay it will get comfortable, you will change, you will become the person you want to be. It doesn't matter whether that's athletic, that doesn't matter, it can be outspoken, it can be a pillar of the community, it can be somebody that supports charities. It's up to you to decide who is you want to be. Just make that decision, role model, pick people that are like the way you would want to be, role model, act accordingly, life gets simple. Hope I've added value to today and I hope to talk to you again soon.